Daffodils are nice, but they are also poisonous. I used to confuse nice and good. <clears throat> I grew up holding nice as one of my high ideals. I've always considered myself to be nice. I've always tried to be nice. And I've tended to respect people who are nice. And I've tended not to respect people who are not nice. As you can see, nice tends to be a very central idea for me of what is good in life. It was this kind of golden standard for me to judge a person. Is he or she nice or not? Heck, even Santa Claus uses that standard. It just made sense to me. But it didn't stand the truth test. As much as I'd like to believe that being nice is the most important thing in the world, it just isn't true for me anymore. It comes from experiencing different people and looking beyond what was just the nice appearance. Some of the most genuinely good people I know are not nice. They are honest, they're helpful, and serving bigger things than just my ego. And they don't care if I don't like them because they're focused on what's true for them. I really respect that kind of honesty and that kind of, uh, in a way, it's, it's interesting balance of taking care of themselves, but also a certain selflessness as well. They're focused on other ideals besides just being valid as being a nice person. So as I've lived and as I've questioned, I've found that goodness comes in all kinds of exteriors, sometimes very gruff exteriors. And when I set my nice standard aside, I can see all that hidden goodness. I invite you to question nice as well. If you find yourself resisting someone because they're not being nice in the way you think they should be, try questioning, I want him or her to be nice, or write a whole judge your neighbor worksheet on them and see what you find. What I love about the work of Byron Katie is that it gets you to scratch below the surface, to look for something more than just nice on the outside. Many people are able to do nice, but underneath they're angry or frustrated. I've been there myself. and uh, when you question someone else you think is so not nice and find that maybe they aren't a little more nice than you thought, it can change your view. I've discovered many other equally valuable traits in others besides being nice. It's like there's many things that count and nice is just one of them. It's not the whole thing now. But I had to look deep to find those hidden values because the ideal of be nice was blocking my view. I've also found that being nice generally still does work for me. It's my way. I like being nice, but it's not an absolute. And there's no need to demand it from others or myself. In fact, there's a lot of freedom and something that's been growing in my life for years in being able to express myself honestly, even if it isn't always what the other person wants to hear. And I'll end with a quote from Byron Katie in her book, I Need Your Love, Is That True? Politeness and tact are supposed to be about consideration for others, but notice how often they are really about trying to control the impression you make. <laughs>